Hi, this is Ushio, and this is Dragon, a game about a dragon. Let's have a look. I don't know the controls. I'm not even sure what kind of game it is. This is Dragon. Dragon is, well, Dragon. He lives in his house with his girlfriend, Edri. He calls her his mate. She calls him Dragon. Dragon isn't very ferocious. He's not tough. He can't fly too well. And his hobbies include snacking, playing video games, reading children's books, and watching daytime TV. Right now, he's watching his favourite show. It's about classy people shouting at one another over things grown-ups shouldn't be discussing in public. I'm 2,023% sure he's my baby daddy, says the guest on TV. Dragon disagrees. Well, says the TV host, I got a DNA test result. Okay, he's watching trash TV. Suddenly, Dragon hears an awful scream outside. Sounds like his girlfriend. This is odd, because she's pretty level-headed herself, and considers screaming something for hussies and other women who reject self-sufficient lifestyles. Dragon hurries outside to see what the matter is. Oh no, it's the king. He's brought along his wizard, his general, and some soldiers, and they've kidnapped Dragon's girlfriend. What's going on, asked Dragon. What's it look like? This is an abduction, says the king. The general and the wizard shrug their shoulders and grimace at Dragon apologetically. Dragon shakes his fist at the king, so Dragon can't actually speak a uh, human. This isn't about what I want, it's about what I don't want. You're enough dragons as it is. The last thing my kingdom needs is more of you, explains the king. Right then, I'm going back to my castle, and you're going back inside to watch whatever trashy TV shows are on this early in the morning. Wow, dragon protests. Ciao, dragon. Dragon thinks about going back inside, but, well, she is the love of his life. That's his words, not mine. He's been reading those trashy teen romance novels again. The kind with taglines like, when a dragon falls in love, it is for real, and it is forever. You know the kind of thing. Oh, but don't tell him I told you that. If he asks, as far as you know, he went to save his girlfriend straight away. And that is our story. The girlfriend's been kidnapped. So let's have a look at this. Everything's done in a very hand sketch style. I have gone immediately the wrong way. So let us go to this direction. Okay, so this is our house, right? Everything hand drawn, it's, it's kind of cool. What we can level up. Wow, look at this menu screen. Okay, we've got whistling power. So I guess this is our house. Okay, so we can... What was that? A swipe? And a fire, but that's limited, so we won't do that. So can we move? How do we move to the next level? There we go. Green Grasslands 1. So we are underway. But, oh god, it's like a, a proper a proper picture book look. Okay, that's it. Kill a guy, grab his money. That's it. And the sheep. Are the sheep safe? I mean, I'm going to kill him anyway, so whatever. Okay, good. So we're just going to mind our own, try and get our girlfriend back. So, oh, we can, we can fly a bit. There we go. How long can we fly for? Oh, he gets tired. Oh, that's kind of cute, actually. Right. No, no. So, how, what do we do there? Can I push him? No. Swipe, swipe, no. Okay, we got to the end. We're going to smoke our pipe. So, we are a smoking dragon. Okay, just kind of get into grips with how the game works. Let's play the story. This is the new bit. Dragon chases the king and his knights to a farm. It looks like the wall union is having a meeting today. They're a little on the extremist side, so I hope he doesn't intend to run straight between them. And yet they force us workers to live in industry-sanctioned departments. They don't pay us and expect us to survive on grass alone. They tell us we're lucky to even be alive. That they could just sell us as a... Uh... Okay, this meeting is briefly interrupted. Dragon, what did I just tell you not to... Okay, so we're chasing after these guys. See, the establishment doesn't even respect our right to peaceful assembly. Brothers, let us speak no more of non-violent resistance. The knights are otherwise occupied. Let us seize the day and take what's rightfully ours. 
the sheep break into a chant. We'll be no more your wooden slaves, we'll fight your shears down to our graves, and in the end, though we may fail, your men will weep, and your women wail. So come, my herd, we move tonight, as they doze, erase their blight. Feel the revolution, okay. That was a bit weird. Okay, next level. So, what? Oh, the sheep. The sheep are hurting. No, sheep, run away. Ow. So what do I do about these guys? Can I hurt them? There's an archer up there sniping. All right, let's, let's get rid of this archer. No, go, go away. What is that? Got a thing, a leaf charm. A trinket made to look like a leaf. Not that kind of leaf. Okay. Good. So the sheep down here seem pretty dangerous. Ow. I'm almost dead. Just, just, just hurt the man. There we go. What is going on down here? Is this guy okay? I'll ignore him. Any more sheep gonna take a run at me? Don't know. Oh, oh god, here they come. No, oh shit, run, run. They are after us. Top speed. Top speed. It's, it's locked again. Here they come, here comes some more. That's it, we are running. Uh oh, no, dodge these guys. Dodge them. No, don't shoot at me. Am I good? Yeah, escaped. So the sheep are definitely having their protests. And we got to keep away from these guys. Okay, next. Next level. Green Grasslands Part 3. But it's, it's such a... Uh-oh, is this bad? This is bad! Uh-oh. <laughs> I was just exploring a bit, but that kind of backfired. No good. So have we got limited lives? We can just, just start again. That's fine. So I'm still kind of absorbing the, the art style a little bit. Because look at the, this pure, pure hand-drawn. Ow, taking hits. That's it, swipe this guy. Swipe. And I'm a strong dragon. I can kill all these guys. Dodge this arrow. That's it. Good. So the controls themselves are pretty standard. They're fairly... It's a bit... It's a little bit stiff. Not too bad. It's a bit on the slow side. There we go. Swipe. But it's perfectly functional. These guys are just chilling out up here. They don't mind. What's going on down here? Fire. Fire. Quickly before he shoots his next arrow. Gotcha. What can I do with money? I haven't quite worked that out yet. I can kill this guy. This way? Is this good? Uh oh. I don't know where I am. Is this good? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh yes. I kind of skipped a big part of that level. We are through. What is next? Okay. Let's play the story. I didn't realise there would be a story. Thanks to the sheep holding up Dragon, the king's gotten pretty far ahead. In fact, he's almost back at the castle. He pulls his general aside and hands him three orbs. The wizard puts up a barrier around the castle for me. As long as that dragon doesn't have these, he won't be able to get in, he explains. Okay, so wouldn't it make more sense just to take them with you? Asked the general. He said if I took him in, the spell would stop working. This seems kind of um, needlessly contrived. It's just the rules of magic, my dude. Well, his exact words. Oh, well, yeah, he definitely did say that. At any rate, says the king, I need you to give these to my most powerful subjects. Take one to my admiral. Her? Huh? Didn't she steal all the villagers' gold just to build that dub boat? To her credit, it's a nice boat. The general grimaces behind his visor. Fine, who else gets one? Take one to those two up in the mountains. The Boudain and his brother, who can't make up his mind how he likes his name spelled. Seriously? But they're like zombies and shit. I think they prefer the term electronically preserved. Of course they do, the general thinks to himself. And the last one? I suppose you could deliver it to my gamekeeper in the forest, but you're not to daddy there like you usually do. I need you to watch our guest. As the general runs off to play delivery boy, the king turns to one of the scholars he brought along and hands him a fourth orb. Is that the secret weapon you've been working on ready yet? he asks. 
That is an exceptionally crude way to describe this electronically enhanced super soldier, but yeah, more or less. Can it stop the dragon from getting this? Okay, so it hasn't undergone a field test to date, but it should in theory. The controls are still imperfect though. And of course, the electromotive delivery system could always, um... Yes, yes, brilliant. Just stop him, okay? But sir, I'll be explaining why that might not work out quite so well. Do it, he says. In a very, I'm the kin and I can take away a lot more than just your job voice that regals are quite good at. Yes, sir, of course. The scholar boots up the super weapon as the king heads toward the castle. His majesty always does things like this. He never listens. It's so unfair. I'll stop inventing. That will show him. Okay, so there are these orbs, and we need those to get inside the castle. So is this is this a boss? I mean, oh, he's got orbs. All right, do dodge the orbs. That's okay. No fire, fire. No. Oh, oh, dodging. Okay, so it's let's hit the hit the guy. No. Am I? I don't think I'm hitting this guy actually. I'm. I'm oh God, no. Am I supposed to hit him in the back? Right, yeah. Hit him. There's, that's it. Oh, he's out of breath. Oh, shit. No. I am dead. Okay, there's no way I could have predicted half of those attacks. So we're going to try this boss again. Proper little boss battle. Let's try this. You tired yet? Nope. Oh, God. What is that? How do I avoid that? Kamehameha. Also, I was distracted. In the bottom left window, someone started peeking through the gaps in the curtains. So I don't know what that was either. Okay, come on, guy. Let's do this. Oh, oh, there we go. Just got to wait for this guy to take his turn. Again? Can I just zap? No, no zap. Kamehameha. Made it. Oh, he's damaged, that's it. Good, good hit, good hit. Yeah, so the wind... Oh, shit. The window, people keep poking through the windows and it's really distracting me. Ow. I can't attack him at all. Oh. Okay, good. That's it, he's tired, he's tired. Good hit. Hopefully it's just three hits, but I really don't know. Okay, dodge. Dodge. No, he's still not tired. Come on. This should do it, right? Are you tired? Yes. That's three hits. Still looks tired to me. Uh oh. Oh. Okay, good. No. Nope. I'm just going to hide here. Bam. That's four hits, I think, so far. What's he got now? Kamehameha! Just in time. Good. Five hits. This guy is tough! Gonna hide down here. Okay. Nope, I'm gonna hide over here now. Oh, oh shit! Yes! Got that hit. With a mighty blow, Dragon knocks the super soldier off his feet. It looks like the King's scholars have run away too, but not before leaving behind the orb they were supposed to protect. Jeez, Dragon, didn't have to be that rough, he complains. Yeah, Dragon apologises, sorry about that. The super soldier blinks. Oh, I can think straight now. I think you broke whatever those scholars were using to control me. He winces. Too bad, that's not all you broke. He gets to his feet. I still have the thunder power he gave me, though. I could probably give you some of it if you wanted. Let me teach her. When they shake hands, Dragon feels a little jolt of electricity go up his arm. I bet he could use thunder breath now. With that, they part ways. Dragon to continue on his quest, and the super soldier to find a tailor to fix his costume. Maybe a shirt too, and perhaps some pants that won't give you a headache to look at them. Okay. And it looks like we have done our first boss battle. So, yeah, I think that we shall carry this on in the next episode. This is Ushio signing off, and hopefully I'll see you next time.